taking a quick look at XLM on the daily chart, getting up above that 200 moving average. Now we already did some video on this a couple of days ago. We did map out some symmetry support, looking at previous pullbacks. Now I can use my symmetry support in a conjunction with my Fibonacci retracements, clicking from that pivot low to pivot high. But if you're looking closely, we do have a 3A2 retracements that is overlapping the symmetry support work that we just did. Now I can also remove this temporarily. I can do another pull. If I were to use this pivot low to pivot high, we also have a 6-1-A retracement that is also lining up with the same neighborhood. So we have four price relationships right in that section of symmetry support. Now I want to jump down to an hourly chart. On the hourly chart, you can see price is also getting up above the 200 moving average. And that's what we talked about a couple of days ago. I wanted to make sure that we continue to establish a series of higher highs above that 200 moving average. Right here, this is not financial advice. On the 15 minute time frame, we also have a trigger to go long with that eight moving average cross against that 34 moving average to the upside. Jumping back out on the daily chart, not financial advice. You can position the size correctly at this level when XLM is trading around 38 cents. But you gotta set your stop below this pivot low. If you wanna be more conservative, you can also set your stop below that 200 moving average because currently it's also providing it as support, an area of support. If you'd like to learn how to find high probability setups using Fibonacci analysis, check out my course in the descriptions below. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, subscribe now, hit that notification button. We go over cryptocurrencies as well as US equities. Love to hear from you in the comments area, and I'll talk to you soon.